Hey guys, so in the beginning of this video I made a mistake and this was like half out of the video. So um, this is just the intro for this question. So what we introduce here is the difference equation and what happens if the difference equation is noticed on the top by y of n plus a1, uh, n minus 1, all the way to an, and then b is not of x of n all the way to b of m. And so you're going to be seeing this a lot, so just write this down as the uh, general equation for the difference equation. Okay, and so the example below is we're given y of n minus 2, y of n minus 1 plus y of n minus 2 equals to x of n minus 3, x of n minus 1. Okay, and they're also given the initial conditions that y of negative 1 equals 0, y of n equals 2 equals 1, y of, uh, sorry, x of negative 1 equals to 1. And we're also given the equation for x of n. Okay, and this is really important because when we try to solve for different uh, different values of y of 0, 1, 2, 3, um, we need to find out uh, the x of whatever we're finding in case that we're not given in the we're not given it in the initial conditions. So down here you can see that when I put n of 0, then I put y of n y of 0 equals to 2y 0 minus 1. Uh, keep going all the way to the to the right, and then it works out to the third line here. Okay, and then x of zero is the one we don't have in our initial conditions. If you notice, we have x of, we have y of negative one, yes. We have y of negative two, yes. X of zero we don't have. Uh, x of negative one we don't we have as well up here. So we need to solve this. We need to solve uh, for x of zero first, and then put it in the equation above, and then find out exactly what y of 0 equals. Okay, and so if you remember in the first notation video that I made, it was the uh, at n equals 0 position in the set of the numbers of y of n. So we're solving for y of 0 here. Okay, so I'll let the video take it from here and uh, give you a chance to copy this down. Thanks, bye. Okay, all right, good. Okay, Jesus, you probably didn't see any of it. Okay, anyways, um, you see it now, I'll pause it for like 10 seconds. Should be enough time. Okay. Anyways, so now we have x of 0 equals to 1. And what we're going to do is we're going to plug in all the initial conditions now, as well as the initial condition, and uh, as well as the condition that we found for 0, uh, for x of 0. Okay. So now y of 0 is equal to 2 times negative 1. y of negative 1 is 0, so this is 0, minus y of negative 2 is 1, so this is 1. x of x of 0 for the next one here is 1 so that's plus 1 and then this one is what negative uh, x of negative 1 is 1 so it's minus 3 times 1 okay so what does that come out to so this is cancelled uh, negative 4 3 negative 3 okay so y of 0 is negative 3 okay so what are we going to do now so now that we have y of 0 is negative uh, 3, right, we can move on to the next n value of n of 1, okay? And if you notice that if I look back in the equation here, this one here is our general equation. <coughs> if I put n equals 1, what does this become? y of 0, okay? We just found that, right? What does this one become? y of negative 1, okay? The initial condition still stands true. That's y of negative 1 still equals 0. Okay, good. Plus x of what? 1. Okay, what are we going to do now? So we have to find x of 1 for that one. Okay, so we keep continuing. Uh, we keep continuing forward until we found, um, let's say, the first 7 or the first 3 values of y. Okay, so this is, and you can see why it's now recursive because this can potentially go on for forever until n equals to, n goes into infinity. Okay, but let's just, let's just do the first uh, 3. So n equals 1 and n equals 2, and uh, I hope you get the grasp of that. And um, in the quiz that we did before and previously, we had to do up to 5. So after you do this, I hope you can do the up to 5 and then just come back and then come back and uh, look at your quiz and see what you did, okay? So 2y, 1 minus 1 equals 0, minus y of 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1 plus x of 1 minus 3x of 0. 
okay? Because 1 minus 1 is 0, okay? So we already know this one from last time. We have to find this one, and we already know this one from last time as well, okay? So we know that this one is equal to 3, so 2 times 3 minus this one was 0 from last time. Well, it's still from the initial conditions. This is 0 plus, so x of uh, x of 1. So if I put 1 in here, that's 2 to the power of 1, mu 1. So that's 1, so it's 2. Okay? So it's 2 to the power of 1 is 1. Okay? So essentially what I did is just put 1 in here, okay? So 2 to the 1 times 1 minus 3. What is x of 0? So let's go back here. x of 0 was 1. Okay? So write that at the top as well, x of 0 is equal to 1, so minus 3 times 1, okay, let's just check, okay, good, alright, and so what is y of 1 now? And that comes out to negative 7, okay, so 2 times, oops, this is negative 3, sorry, 2 times negative 3, 6, plus 2 minus 3, so it's negative, oh, yep, so it's negative 7, okay? So let's do n equals to 2 now. So again, same process, we're going to put 2 equals to 2y of 1 minus 2 minus y of 0 plus x of 2 minus 3 x of 1, okay? And now we're just going to do it again. Okay, so what do we have to find? x of 2 equals to what? 2 to the power of the power 2 times 1 is equal to 4. Okay, what is... Okay, and also know that x of 1 is equal to what? x of 1 we knew it was 1. Oh no, 2 last time, so it's 2 still. Okay, and then we also know that y of 1 is equal to negative 7. Okay, so we're going to write that in now. 2 minus equals to 2 of negative 7 minus y of 0 is what? y of 0 is negative 3 from last time still, right? It's the la latest version of y of 0, so it's negative 3. Okay, plus x of 2. And x of 2 is what? 4. And minus 3x of 1 was, I believe it was what, 2, 2, okay? So that works out to negative 13, okay? So I only asked you to do, the, like, let's say the first three elements, right? So let's say we'll say that y of n is equal to, since it's an infinite set, we don't know what it is, up until n equals 0. So n equals 0 was what? y of 0 was negative 3. This one was negative 7. Negative 13. And we can keep going. It, it, it depends how many iterations you want, or it depends on the question. But that's, exactly, that's essentially how you do it. So you find the elements of y using the recursive method, which is using the difference equation, plugging in your initial conditions, using the equation that you're given for the input of x, and finding out the corresponding values of x given that n equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Okay? And at the end of the day, you find y of n, the actual, the actual recursive method is y of n equals to negative 3, negative 7, negative, 3, negative 13, and this is where n equals to 0 at this point, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, continue on. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed that, and that's recursive method.